Then what we've got to do is, actually, let's leave this guy here. So this becomes the distance of OM, right? Now what we've got to do is find the distance of, we got this guy, find the distance of AM, okay? So what we do, we go back here, we say this is now distance of AM. Distance of AM is going to be this point to this point. So we already marked that one as our second coordinate. We're going to take the one off this guy and we're going to put it on this. That's going to be our first coordinate. So again, we're going to go through this formula. x2 minus x1, which is going to be x over 2 minus, or x1 is 0, squared, plus y over 2 minus, oh, y2 minus y1. Now y2 is y over 2 minus y squared. So, over here we got x over 2 minus 0 is just x over 2. So we got x over 2 squared plus. How do you subtract these guys? You do these by common denominator, right? You should be looking back at your fractions if you don't remember this. Whenever you have a variable by itself, it just means it's over 1. So the common denominator between these is 2. What did you multiply 2 by to give you 2? You multiplied by 1, so that guy just remains y. You multiply 1 by 2, so you've got to multiply the top by 2 as well. So 2 times y is minus 2y squared. So let's take this one more level. We've got x squared over 2. That just becomes x squared over 4. And then we got plus y minus 2y is negative y. So this guy becomes negative y over 2 squared. Are you still going to be able to see this? You are. That's good. So, that's going to stay what it is. y squared over 4 plus negative y squared is y squared over 2 squared is going to be 4. So right now, are you still on the board? We're still on the board. So these guys have the same common denominator, so it's going to be x squared plus y squared over 4. And as we talked about earlier for that guy, for the distance of OM, you can separate the top from the bottom and take the square root of the bottom and the square root of the top. The top you can't break down because the plus sign attaches them, so this becomes equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. And the square root of 4 is just 2. So that becomes 2. We're on the board. We're on the board. So the distance of AM is... Distance of AM is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared over 2, which is the distance of 1. So we just went ahead and proved this guy. Now, this question would... Uh, be a grade 11, easy grade 11 question or a hard grade 10 question in uh, North America specifically anyway. So it's a two-dimensional proof using coordinate systems and in the question we use the midpoint uh, formula and the distance formula. And that's basically it. That's all we ended up using to go through this proof.